Hello, this is Pete Pudel. Um, I want to thank you first for taking your time to join us for today's uh, call. We're excited to have Mr. Phil Murphy with us today. So let's get started. So our speakers today, we have uh, with us Forrester Vice President and Research Director Phil Murphy. Uh, Mr. Murphy is, serves as the application development and delivery professionals. He helps them with strategies to help streamline and manage their application portfolios. His coverage areas include application modernization, portfolio management, rationalization, and IT strategic planning. Uh, also joining us today is uh, Mario Camage. He is a product manager at CAST. Uh, he supports the application portfolio analysis clients at CAST, uh, specifically in the financial services, insurance, and transportation industry. Uh, with that, I will uh, hand it over to Phil. Thank you. Okay, we're going to jump right in, folks. I have a lot of material to cover. Welcome. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about speed, and by speed we mean uh, time to market. Uh, we're going to talk about how we invest our IT uh, dollars and the value of transparency. And then we're going to talk about how to put transparency to work to drive better apps modernization decisions. So let's jump in. The word speed conjures up many images. Um, there's uh, There are... Uh, things that are designed to go as fast as they possibly can. Um, you go as fast as you possibly can without re proper control, and um, you know you run into trouble. And really, um, if you're not speedy enough, that's a problem. You go too fast, it's a problem. So speed, uh, increasingly, is is an issue for uh, for us in IT uh, because um, time to market speed. Um, is really uh, taking some of the uh, brand names we once knew and shutting them down. And folks who get to market in a more timely way uh, are doing much better. Uh, you go back, uh, go back to Apple's early days uh, where they, they were nothing but an organization that served uh, academia and artists. If you weren't one of those, you wouldn't have a Mac for the most part. So... Um, time to market, and the markets are shifting. And uh, in IT, we need to figure out a way to uh, to balance speed at the proper pace um, so that we don't become a victim of it. So, what's driving some of the need for speed? The the, the top trends: mobile, social. Um, we're collecting. We have software now that is collecting data from places we couldn't imagine several years ago. Uh, we're we've got. Uh, just buckets of, of new technology on top of things we've already had. The pace of change is uh, is daunting, um, and our business leaders have become a lot less patient uh, and a lot more technically savvy than they once were. Um, we can sit here in IT and say they're being unreasonable, but. Uh, if you think back to the earlier slide, uh, missed opportunities really can kill an industry. Um, what that boils down to is the, the methods we have traditionally used for developing and maintaining software, they just don't work in, in today's world, uh, where most, uh, most firms are, are introducing Agile, but Agile at enterprise scale is, is a rarity. Um, mobile brings on uh, new forms of testing, A-B testing, multivariate testing, continuous deployment. We're really changing the way we go at software. So here's the picture. We've got those social trends that are accelerating, putting their foot on the gas pedal, against the backdrop of uh, decades of accumulated applications across various genres of technology. And We've got them all in this large bucket. Uh, we've been, we, we build an app, we throw it in the bucket, we don't really look backwards unless somebody requests an enhancement or a change. And our buckets are overflowing at this point. So let's bring it around to IT and, and what it really means. Um, what you see here is, the, is a survey question from uh, a few thousand software decision makers. 